Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video, and this one is the Ray of Destruction What to Get video, where I'm going to be going through and telling you what I think you should pick up in this raid. So I'm just going to be going over stuff, and if at first you don't have it or you can't afford it, just move on to the next one, because there will be something here for you. So the first prize that everyone should get is in the Garrison tab, and that is the Infernal Dragon and the Greta's Infernal Dragon. These two, and all this tech here that pairs well with, these are the most important things in the game for use in the Forsaken mission that you should be trying to use to be the best player you can in the game. With all the Forsaken mission changes coming up, it's really important that you want this top fleet. I will note there are other ways to get this, such as through the Forsaken mission itself, so if you already have a great free fleet and you're willing to spend the time to grind, you could overlook this. But I'd really try to emphasize getting the garrison ships first because those are very important in this raid. Number two is either of the top prizes that you can get. If you can get the Bat Ray or the Razor Tail, just pick one and go with it and try to get all the tech that goes with that. I've picked the Bat Ray here, I'm going to make, be making some videos, comparing both of them later. But number two is just one of the top prizes. Number three is another way to succeed in the next raid cycle, which will be Skirmish. In the Skirmish raid cycle, the top one, one of the two top ships will do well. And secondly, you'll want either the Apex Hunter or the Hunter. That's one option. And the second option is the Fa Fangtooth and the Phantom Fangtooth. Those two options are two things that should do very well in the next raid. Getting this Fangtooth say, you want to get the Fangtooth and then all this tech here, maybe with the exception of Agility System 4. Getting the Hunter, you want to get the Hunter and all this tech here with maybe, maybe the exception of Agility System and Hydraulic Resistors. But you want to try to get those. I will note that there are also TLCs available where you can get these and as well build tokens for each of these ships. So the next thing that you should get after all this garrison stuff is a way to stay current in the next raid cycle. If you've already got that or can't get that, I would try to catch up on some assault things, such as getting the Gutspill Skyfire Carrier, which will help out your Skyfires, Skyfires a ton, or the Gutspill Phoenix, which will help out your Phoenix fleet a ton. And if you still need one of the regular two and really want an assault fleet for collecting base parts, then you could do that and get one of those also. There's also Siege, getting the Hydra and the flagship, flagship or the Buccaneer and the Flagship, you go with one of those. If you've got all those there, I wouldn't really t bother with a Conqueror or Defender. I'm not talking about those too much. I'm just not focused on PvP ships for this video. In the more prizes section, there are various good tech here. If you just want to look through and see anything that stands out to you, Advanced Concussive Payload is great. Sealed Fire Charge is great for Hellris. Anything here that stands out to you as you scroll, scroll through and you want to get, you should probably go for it. Garrison Battery, huge thing. It's great. There are a bunch of build tokens you can also get here. There's more limited stuff. There's a whole bunch of tools to play, war play with. Just look whatever fleet you want to build. Number one should be garrison. Then look at what things will help you build a garrison fleet. Number two is you want to look at the next raid, skirmish, and what things will help you build a skirmish fleet. I will note that a lot of this tech here, especially towards the top for me, is PvP. If you click on it and it says whole class is Conqueror and Defender, don't get that and try to use it on a skirmish fleet because it just won't go on that whole class. So this has been my what to get video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. If you have questions about your specific circumstance, drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you.